This, this sounds like political presidential talk to me, and I know people have talked to you about whether or not you want to run. Would you, would you ever? Probably not, but I, I do get tired of seeing the country ripped Why off. Why would you not? I just don't think I really have the inclination to do it. I love what I'm doing. I really like it. Also, I, it doesn't pay as well. No, it doesn't. <laughs> but, you know, I just probably wouldn't do it, Oprah. I probably wouldn't, but I do get tired of seeing what's happening with this country. And if it got so bad, I would never want to rule it out totally because I really am tired of seeing what's happening with this country, how we're, how we're really making other people live like kings, and we're not. Mr. Trump, you've done great things in your life, and I just wonder how do I, as an average person, begin? Yeah. Like, well, first of all, never think of yourself as average. You started off with the wrong question because you're not average. You've got a lot going. I see you're smart. I see you're very beautiful. And you're right against Erin. Look how beautiful she is. But, you know, I don't see any difference. You have to tell yourself that you just have to get that word average out of your vocabulary. And you have to tell yourself that you're great. And you have to believe it. If you can say it and don't believe it, it doesn't matter. So just go out there and work hard. You've said, though, that if you did run for president, you believe you'd win. Well, I don't know. I think I'd win. I tell you what, I wouldn't go in to lose. I am officially running for president of the United States. There's not going to be a President Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump will not become president. He is not, Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Take it to the bank. Okay. I guarantee it. All right. I think that man will be president of the United States right about the time that spaceships come down filled with dinosaurs and red capes. Donald Trump has been saying that he will run for president as a Republican, which is surprising since I just assumed he was running as a joke. <laughs> Donald Trump just last week he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. <laughs> do, do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country which does not want you to be president but which badly wants you to run. I continue to believe Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. Mr. Trump, Trump will not be president. He will never be president of the United States. And uh, we better be ready for the fact that he might be leading the Republican ticket next. <laughs> I know you don't believe that, but I want to go on. <laughs> Sorry to laugh. Next. Okay, here we are. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. And so, right now, Mr. Trump, to answer your call for political honesty, I just want to say, you're not going to be president. There is zero chance we'll be seeing you being sworn in on the Capitol steps with your hand on a giant golden Bible. Donald Trump will never, ever be president okay. of the United States. Get... Donald Trump will never be elected president of the United States. Donald Trump is the here today, gone tomorrow candidate for president of the United States. Donald Trump is not going to be president of the United States. Uh, ever respectful of the fact that the people have not voted, he's not going to be president of the United States. Let's be clear, Donald Trump will lose the election. We talk about him every day and we all continuously he's bash him. He's not going to be the president, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's to be a wake-up call to the Republican Party. Uh, despite Boris thinking that Donald Trump can win New York, like this, the, the presidential race is over. It just, just, could I just cut through? I have one thing to say, one thing only. And that is that this race is over. President Obama will go down as perhaps the worst president in the history of the United States! Exclamation point. At real Donald Trump. <laughs> well, at real Donald Trump. At least I will go down as a president. I think I'd be inclined, I, w I would say that I would have a hell of a chance of winning because I think people, I don't know how your audience feels, but I think people are tired of seeing the United States ripped off. And I can't promise you everything, but I can tell you one thing, this country would make one hell of a lot of money 
from those people that for 25 years have taken advantage. It wouldn't be the way it's been. So when you stand and deliver that State of the Union address, in no part of your mind or brain can you imagine Donald Trump standing up one day and delivering a State of the Union address? Well, I can imagine it uh, in a Saturday night skit. that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute, the office of President of the United States, the office of President of the United States. That from and now on, it's going to be America first. America first. The script is not yet written. We do not know what the page will read tomorrow. But for the first time in a long time, what we do know is that the pages will be authored by each and every one of you. Years from now, some of them may look back and ask themselves whether they've made the right choice, whether they've made the most of the opportunities they've been given. Together, we have the same mission. Over the course of your life, you will find that things are not always fair. You will find that things happen to you that you do not deserve and that are not always warranted. But you have to put your head down and fight, fight, fight. Never, ever, ever give up. Don't give in, don't back down, and never stop doing what you know is right. Nothing worth doing ever, ever, ever came easy. And the more righteous your fight, the more opposition that you will face. In your hearts are inscribed the values of service, sacrifice, and devotion. Now you must go forth into the world and turn your hopes and dreams into action. America has always been the land of dreams because America is a nation of true believers. When the pilgrims landed at Plymouth, they prayed. When the Founders wrote the Declaration of Independence, they invoked our Creator four times. Because in America, we don't worship government, we worship God. It is why our currency proudly declares, in God we trust. And it's why we proudly proclaim that we are one nation under God. The story of America is the story of an adventure that began with deep faith, big dreams, and humble beginnings. The next generation of American leaders never, ever give up. There'll be times in your life you'll want to quit. Never quit. Never stop fighting for what you believe in and for the people who care about you. Carry yourself with dignity and pride. Demand the best from yourself. The more people tell you it's not possible, that it can't be done, the more you should be absolutely determined to prove them wrong. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. Relish the opportunity to be an outsider the more that a broken system tells you that you're wrong, the more certain you should be that you must keep pushing ahead. You must keep pushing forward. And always have the courage to be yourself. America is better when people put their faith into action. Pray to God and follow his teachings. Today, each of you begins a new chapter as well. When your story goes from here, it will be defined by your vision, your perseverance, and your grit. You will build a future where we have the courage to chase our dreams no matter what the cynics 
and the doubters have to say. You will have the confidence to speak the hopes in your hearts and to express the love that stirs your souls. As long as you have pride in your beliefs, courage in your convictions, and faith in God, then you will not fail. As long as America remains true to its values, loyal to its citizens, and devoted to its creator, then our best days are yet to come. the class of 2017. May God bless the United States of America. And I just want to let you know that God blesses you. And I want to just say, you are special in every way. God bless you, and God bless America. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Less than one year has passed since I first stood at this podium in this majestic chamber to speak on behalf of the American people and to address their concerns, their hopes, and their dreams. That night, our new administration had already taken very swift action. A new tide of optimism was already sweeping across our land. Each day since, we have gone forward with a clear vision and a righteous mission to make America great again for all Americans. Over the last year, we have made incredible progress and achieved extraordinary success. We have faced challenges we expected and others we could never have imagined. We have shared in the heights of victory and the pains of hardship. We have endured floods and fires and storms. But through it all, we have seen the beauty of America's soul and the steel in America's spine. Each test has forged new American heroes to remind us who we are and show us what we can be. We saw the volunteers of the Cajun Navy racing to the rescue with their fishing boats to save people in the aftermath of a totally devastating hurricane. We saw strangers shielding strangers from a hail of gunfire on the Las Vegas Strip. In the aftermath of that terrible shooting, we came together, not as Republicans or Democrats, but as representatives of the people. But it is not enough to come together only in times of tragedy. Tonight, I call upon all of us to set aside our differences, to seek out common ground, and to summon the unity we need to deliver for the people. This is really the key. These are the people we were elected to serve. Over the last year, the world has seen what we always knew that no people on Earth are so fearless or daring or determined as Americans. If there is a mountain, we climb it. If there's a frontier, we cross it. If there's a challenge, we tame it. If there's an opportunity, we seize it. So let's begin tonight by recognizing that the state of our union is strong because our people are strong. There has never been a better time to start living the American dream. So to every citizen watching at home tonight, no matter where you've been or where you've come from, 
This is your time. If you work hard, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in America, and you can dream anything, you can be anything, and together, we can achieve absolutely anything. All of us, together, as one team, one people, and one American family can do anything. We all share the same home, the same heart, the same destiny, and the same great American flag. Together, we are rediscovering the American way. In America, we know that faith and family, not government and bureaucracy, are the center of American life. The motto is in God we trust. And we celebrate our police, our military, and our amazing veterans as heroes who deserve our total and unwavering support. Reminds us of why we salute our flag, why we put our hands on our hearts for the Pledge of Allegiance, and why we proudly stand for the national anthem. Americans love their country, and they deserve a government that shows them the same love and loyalty in return. We want every American to know the dignity of a hard day's work. We want every child to be safe in their home at night. And we want every citizen to be proud of this land that we all love so much. We can lift our citizens from welfare to work, from dependence to independence, and from poverty to prosperity. But as President of the United States, my highest loyalty my greatest compassion, my constant concern is for America's children, America's struggling workers, and America's forgotten communities. I want our youth to grow up, to achieve great things. I want our poor to have their chance to rise. So tonight, I am extending an open hand to work with members of both parties, Democrats and Republicans, to protect our citizens of every background, color, religion, and creed. My duty and the sacred duty of every elected official in this chamber is to defend Americans, to protect their safety, their families, their communities, and their right to the American dream. Because Americans are dreamers too. It was a small cluster of colonies caught between a great ocean and a vast wilderness. It was home to an incredible people with a revolutionary idea that they could rule themselves, that they could chart their own destiny, and that together they could light up the entire world. That is what our country has always been about. That is what Americans have always stood for, always strived for, and always done. We're a people whose heroes live not only in the past, but all around us, defending hope, pride, and defending the American way. They work in every trade. They sacrifice to raise a family. They care for our children at home. They defend our flag abroad. And they are strong moms and brave kids. They are firefighters and police officers and border agents, medics and Marines. But above all else, they are Americans. And this capital, this city, this nation belongs entirely to them. Americans fill the world with art and music. 
They push the bounds of science and discovery. And they forever remind us of what we should never, ever forget. The people dreamed this country. The people built this country. And it's the people who are making America great again. As long as we are proud of who we are and what we are fighting for, there is nothing we cannot achieve. As long as we have confidence in our values, faith in our citizens, and trust in God, we will never fail. Our families will thrive. Our people will prosper. And our nation will forever be safe and strong and proud and mighty and free. Thank you, and God bless America. Good night. system tells you that you're wrong, the more certain you should be that you must keep pushing ahead. Because it's the outsiders who change the world and who make a real and lasting difference. Nothing worth doing ever came easy. Treat the word impossible as nothing more than motivation. The future belongs to the people who follow their heart no matter what the critics say. We must always remember that we share one home and one glorious destiny. We all bleed the same red blood of patriots. We all salute the same great American flag. Our best days are yet to come.